is up Bombers fans and welcome to the latest episode of The Mad Dogs Football Wrap and now admittedly we've got a bit of a low key episode this week after a bruising tough physical encounter over in Perth the boys did their very best they stuck with the task and for three quarters we were right up there with a finals contender but alas it wasn't meant to be it turned into a torrid afternoon in the end, and I tell you what, I tell you what. The famous saying goes, a poor workman always blames his tools. But you know what? The umpiring on the day was absolutely abhorrent. Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It was a shocking day, and I don't like to pick on the umpires that do their best. But did you see during the week, a boundary umpire was dropped for the rest of the season because he failed to see Josh Kennedy traipse over the line, back into play, over the line again, and back into play before he kicked a goal. Drop for the rest of the season. That's not some work experience kid at McDonald's accidentally puts an extra fries in your bag kind of mistake. That is massive. And I tell you what, it set the scene for the day. Umpiring decisions, match review panel decisions, very frustrating. And that's not the worst of it, Bombers fans, because just when you thought our bad run with injuries was ending, it happened again. Poor Stewie Cramery cooked for the rest of the year after a fantastic season, going down with a shoulder injury. And then we had Wusher going down the first quarter because he caught a hip to the head. And then Joby going down the last quarter because he caught a... Sniper's bullet, I think you'd call it. Anyway, both players going down heavily affected our rotation. But when you think about it, two concussions, the boys probably actually had something to talk about. What the hell happened to my head? It's really simple, man. Photosynthesis. Plants take the energy from the sun and turn it into their food. What, so like, when the Yankees won the World Series? Yeah, you're with it now. So you get 24, and you divide it by 80, and then you square root the whole thing. Yeah, oh, you're right on it. that... So, my mistake, my mistake. Thanks, Archie. <laughs> Sorry, lads. Anyway, time for the Mad Dog Medallion. I'm going to send one vote to the man we were just talking about. Never far away from the votes. Joe Watson, and I tell you what, he may have been a bit loopy on the day, but you just lean in and whisper, Mad Dog Medallion, and he would straighten right up, focus on the task at hand. Two votes I'm going to send to Brent Stannon, maintained the rage from the week before and had a fantastic game, and three votes I'm going to send to our young gun, Big Dice Heppel, cut it up, that bloke never looked pressured, always silk with the ball, had a really fantastic game. That will do me for one more week, Bombers fans, and I don't think I need to remind you the implications of this week's game. Absolutely massive, and I know Port Adelaide is struggling at the moment, but it doesn't matter. Every single Bombers fan that can possibly make it needs to get to the ground, because I want all the Port Adelaide players as the very second they put a foot on the Etihad Stadium turf to the end of the game of the final siren, I want every single one of those poor players to know that they've stumbled into our house. Win this game and the finals are ours to have a massive, massive crack at. I tell you what, I hope to see you at the game, but better yet, I hope to see you next week for another massive episode of the Mad Dogs Football Wrap.